easy to get in. If you're like you're testing and you want to get out and look at something, you want three points of contact all the time, whether you're getting in or getting out. You got it rolling? Yep. Right on. We're going to do the tug test first. Yeah, the brakes are on. We're going to make sure it's in neutral. Make sure it's in neutral. Anytime you start a truck, have your clutch all the way in. Have your foot on the brake. We're going to start the truck. Truck's in neutral. I'm going to light out and tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it in gear. And I'm going to push one of the brakes in. I'm going to push the tractor brake in. And we're going to tuck it on the trailer brake. And then we're going to push the trailer brake and have the tractor brakes out. And we're going to test the tractor brake. And then I'm going to drive ahead and step on the service brake and stop the truck and see if uh, we get any movement out of the steering wheel. So the first thing we do is put it in gear. We're going to check the tr tractor brakes first. Push the trailer brake in. We're going to let the clutch out real slow until it starts engaging. We can hear it and feel it. I don't know if you did. And then we're going to switch. We're going to push the tr tractor in and pull the trailer out. And again, we're going to test to see if the trailer brakes are working. So they're working. Now we're going to release both brakes. We're going to drive ahead in low gear, and then I'm going to step on the service brake. I'm not going to, oh, we had a turn, but I'm not going to put my hands on the wheel. I'm going to go ahead and stop. We didn't get any movement out of the steering wheel, so that tells me my front brakes are adjusted correct. I'm going to back up for just a little bit and level the truck out. And then we're going to do the brake test. If you guys want to jump up and watch, there are one or two of you. We're going to do this uh, brake lead down test. We just done the duck tuck test. These are pushed in, they're released. So I'm going to put it in gear and I'm going to shut the truck off. This is where everybody fails and forget to turn it back on. We shut the truck off, now turn the key back on. That buzzer is for low engine oil, is why it's buzzing. We just got to put up with it, but the truck's in gear so it can't roll. The brakes are pushed in, none of the brakes are set. I'm going to test my service brake by holding it down and I'm going to hold it. It'll drop over here a little bit right off the bat. It dropped a little bit. Now I'm going to hold it for one minute to see if it uh, drops any more. We're going to say a minute's up. Now I'm going to let off that brake. Now we're going to pump the brake down until that between 60, about 60 PSI there should be a warning light or buzzer come on. Our warning light will come on, but the buzzer is already on because of the oil pressure light. So shine it right up here, and I'm gonna go down. There's a red, red light come on. There it come on. Okay, that tells me that I'm losing air. It come on at 60 PSI over here. Come on at 60, 60 PSI. That warning light's telling me to pull over on the edge of the road. The brakes are gonna lock up. So now we're gonna simulate losing the air. We're gonna pump it on down. And between 20 and 40 pounds, the buttons will push out. Go ahead and shine right there. And the buttons pop out between 20 and, and 45. They come on at 30 PSI. So that it concludes the air brake test.